Hello my friends, this is another one of those there's just too much to tell you intro videos. I'll fill you in on everything right after this. Hi friends, Jerry Rosa here in the Rosa Stringworks Workshop. It is Wednesday, April 5th. Thunder and lightning as we speak. Uh, it's been raining most of the evening. I'm hoping the road won't flood again. We had a wonderful jam at Dickie's Barbecue last night. A pretty good crowd for the first half of it at least. And then the storm started moving in and people started moving out. <laughs> <laughs> but we stayed and played. We had a good time. And Mitzi is the real deal. She can play and sing and really did a wonderful job. And if one of the customers' videos turned out that they took last night, uh, they sent it to me. I'll be sure to play a little piece of that for you here in a little bit. Yeah, it was a real fun time and really did have a good, uh, good jam. Enjoyed it immensely. I got some very sad news yesterday. Victor, if you remember, from up in Canada... Uh, let me know that his father-in-law, Jamie Cole Pitts, a great jazz guitarist, passed away. I believe he passed away back in on January 20th. He was uh, 91 years old and uh, had a good run at it, you know. But uh, a great musician, a really fine guitar player. So I thought it would be appropriate to let you hear one of the wonderful songs that he played called There Will Never Be Another You. And I thought that was kind of prophetic as well. Enjoy. Thank you. 
Well, it's always sad when we lose another great musician like that. He was really a fine, fine musician. I told you yesterday that uh, yesterday was the first day of my hiatus and that I had my work cut out for me working on that sawmill, and I did that, and I did make good progress. And so here's a little bit of progress on that. I'll show you that right now. Well, my friends, yesterday went really well. I got the uh, axle cut off here and I turned this part of the axle down to fit all the way up in here. It's up in there about that far. And then I just put this pin through there with a uh, wing nut and if you can look here to see there's no play in that at all. The axle doesn't move at all. It's absolutely a super tight fit. So, But yet I can jerk it out of there and whenever I'm ready to use the sawmill. And somebody was concerned about a leg bump and it could still happen, don't get me wrong. But, you know, I tried to set it in there even with the uh, jack so that it would be less likely. I'm sure it'll happen, but uh, hopefully I can keep that to a minimum. The uh, last thing I need to do to the sawmill is just put these, uh, you know, uh, lifters on there or whatever you want to call it, the risers to uh, raise the bed up about, oh, I'm going to say roughly two inches. And after that, I think it's ready to put to work. Yeah, that turned out really good. That is just as solid as a rock. I was really had my concerns about doing that. I thought that thing's going to be wobbly and it's just going to be a mess, but it really turned out great. I'm very happy with it. And, you know, considering I'm not going to be pulling this on at high speed or out on the highway, it's perfectly fine. And down the road, there will probably be a video on that that uh, you will see uh, in detail of how I did that because it was quite a job. It really was. I told you that I wouldn't be working on instruments anymore as of yesterday for the next couple of months. But you know me, I lie a lot. <laughs> no, one of my uh, friends, a good friend, uh, came to the jam last night and brought me a guitar and I couldn't say no. I mean, I, you know, it's one of those deals where you can't just say no, I'm not working on it <laughs> So it's a, a bridge removal on a, a Martin guitar. I think it's either a 28 or a 35. Pretty sure it's a 28. But anyway, I didn't look at it that close, uh, but the bridge does need to be removed and replaced, uh, at least put back in place. I don't know that we'll need to make a new bridge. We'll check it all out and figure that out as we go. I'm gonna try to get that done as soon as possible. So in the next day or so, I'm gonna try to get that fixed. You know, it's just not easy being me. Are you starting to get it now? <laughs> oh my gosh, just never quits. I mentioned that someone in the crowd did take some video of Mitzi playing and singing, and unfortunately, that didn't turn out. Uh, the uh, video that I received is just so tiny, and when you blow it up, it's just solid pixelation. You can't tell anything about the image, and even the music is kind of pixelated, if you will. It, does, it sounds like you're playing on a toy piano or something. <laughs> so he sent some via email also, and those came out to just be single, solitary images, no video attached. So. That didn't work out. If she happens to uh, wander through the shop this morning before I get this vlog out, we'll try to get her to play a little bit on her mandolin and let you hear her because she is the real deal. She does a good job picking and a good job singing. Well, my friends, I mentioned that uh, we had a good jam at Dickie's Barbecue last night and Mitzi was uh, the real deal. She can really play and really sing, does a great job. So I thought we'd just play a little tune for you since none of the video that we had last night turned out. Oh. What would you like to play? Well, let's, you want to do the um, bluegrass stomp? <laughs> you can do that. I'll, I'll, I'll just beat the rhythm for it because you do a great job on that.
really nice job. Thank you. And that was with zero warm up at all. We just started playing. <laughs> So that was a great. And really only one great. cup of coffee. Yeah, well, and I didn't have any. <laughs> but I got my arthritis. That'll work for me. Well, hope you enjoyed that. Well, that's going to be about it for today. If you would, please remember to click that thumbs up button. And if you haven't subscribed, please do that. And we will see you tomorrow. Yeah, yeah.